Hello, I'm Mrs. Surekha Fogat from Salvan Public School, teaching biology over here. Today we have collected here to perform some experiments related to testing various components in the food item. Here I have my students. Hello everyone, I'm Aman. Hi, I'm Megha. Hello, I'm Tanya. Hi, this is Rupali. Hi, I'm Ritika. Hi, I'm Yashika. Now let's ask them what and all food, what they had at breakfast today. Uh, Yashika? Mama, I had milk. Milk? Only milk? Yes, ma'am. I think you should have some more things in the morning and come. Rupali? I had milk with two uh, bread slices. Milk with two bread slices. Tanya? Mama, I had just milk. Just milk, same thing. Mega. Mom, milk and biscuits. <laughs> milk and biscuits. Mom, I had two eggs. Boiled ones. Two boiled eggs. So we, if we see, most of they had, most of them had the diet which is rich in, rich in protein. There are five components present in most of the food items. Carbohydrates. Yes. Uh, Amanji. Ma'am, ma proteins. Proteins. Ma'am, vitamins. Vitamins. Ma'am, fats. Fats and minerals, of course. And uh, since the milk is also rich in sugar, I think all of you had your milk with the sugar. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Early in the morning, we need lots of energy, so that's why we go in for food which are rich in sugar. So first, let's do the test with the sugar. Here we have a food sample in the form of orange juice, and we are going to find out how much, whether it contains sugar or not. Okay, so today, aim of our experiment is to find out the presence of sugar in the given food sample. Our materials required are orange juice, of course, our sample. Benedict's reagent, the chemical for the test, beaker, test tubes, test tubes stand to hold these test tubes, dropper, and of course an instrument to heat. In our lab, we are going to use the microwave. Otherwise, Bunsen burner, water bath, etc., can also be used for heating. Ma'am, what is Benedict's reagent? Now, Benedict's reagent is a chemical which we use to detect the presence of sugar in a sample. It can also, uh, depending upon its concentration, we have here the color variations. Maximum sugar will show this red color. If less amount of sugar, that is 1.5 percent, will show yellow. And if it is above 1 percent, it will show this kind of yellow. If it is 0 0.5 percent, it will show green color. And if there is no sugar, then in the test, we will get it as blue color. And as you can see this reagent, when we'll be pouring it in the test tube, it is blue in color. So the color changes on heating. And that's what we're going to perform now. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Ma'am, the juices which are labeled, ma'am, there are no added sugar. Ma'am, do they actually contain sugar? They do contain natural sugar, sugar, so we can use them for testing the presence of sugar in a given food stuff. Ma'am, can we use any other reagent except Benedict's? Yeah, there is another reagent which is called as Felling's reagent, Felling's A and Felling's B. There are two reagents are there. First, Felling's A has to be added and then Felling's B. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, what other samples can be used for this test? You can use any food stuff. Do the test. If you are getting any of these colors, orange, red or yellow, then that means it is having sugar in it. And if it is not showing those colors, that means sugar is absent. Shall we continue with the test now? Any more questions? Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, in all the cases, do we need to heat the sample? Yeah, we need to heat the sample in all the cases. Now, let's take a test tube. In that, we'll add around 1 ml of the sample. Approximately 1 ml to the sample. We add Benedict's reagent. That also around same quantity as that of sam sample. And remember, you should not waste chemicals or the samples while testing anything. Along with the other precautions, this is the one which you have to take. Now here, of course, we are going to heat it. Now what's the color? Green. 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 So if you refer here, it is already it is showing some amount of sugar. Let's heat it and see after completing the test. We'll put on some more chemical.
Now, when we are heating these sample, you should use test tube holder if you are using a burner. And at the same time, the test tube should be kept away from your mouth. And nobody should be standing in front of the mouth of the test tube. Otherwise, the person will get hurt. Anyway, we'll be repeating these precautions later on also. Now, here I'll take uh, Bhavna's help for heating this in the microwave. Now, here we have the sample after heating and uh, you can see that it has changed yellow in color. So, that sugar is present in it and it is above 1.5 percent. Now, let us repeat this test and uh, I would like one of you to come and repeat the test with the glucose sample which we are sure is having sugar in it. Who will volunteer? All of you. Okay, let's have Mega first. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, what are the side effects of intaking excessive sugar? Excessive sugar, you become fat first of all. Yeah. Okay, and then of course, I think you want to know something about diabetes. Yes, ma'am. Diabetes is not related only with the intake of sugar, but it is related with the insulin hormone. But ma'am. Mega, I think you have taken excess of sample. Anyway, now you can continue. But ma'am, sugar is hereditary. Sugar is hereditary or diabetes is hereditary? No, non diabetes. Yeah, it is because there is a gene in our body which controls the production of insulin along with the other factors. Ma'am, but ma'am, uh, if you don't take ma'am excessive sugar, ma'am, then also we'll, ma'am, we'll get diabetes. You can take ma'am's help for eating. You go down. Ma'am, if you do not intake ma'am excessive sugar, and then also we'll get diabetes, ma'am, if I ma'am. Diabetes again is of two types. Okay, it is actually diabetes disease is related with the metabolism of sugar. If the sugar metabolism, Megha, you can go and go ahead. <coughs> yeah, two types of diabetes is there. It is related to the metabolism of the sugar. If metabolism if insulin is present, it met, it is, its function is to metabolize sugar into glucose. In one case, the sugar is metabolized at a faster rate and in the other case, it is not metabolized at all. Now, very well then, Megha, and you can see in this experiment, pure glucose gives actually the orange precipitate. That means this is having, uh, say, it's totally sugar or maximum amount of sugar is present in this. We will just list down the various steps which we have performed in this. 1 ml of sample we have taken, then same quantity. Of Benedict's reagent. Then we heat the test tube. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Peter. Ma'am, till what temperature do we heat the sample? We heat it just for one or two minutes. We need not maintain any temperature as such. Because sometimes when you're using water bath or the burner, there you cannot maintain the temperature. And after the method of performing, what is your observation? Uh, Aman can tell me what is the observation? In After case of the orange juice, the color changes to yellow precipitate. Is, the color changes to yellow. Yeah. And the yellow precipitate is formed, hmm. which shows us that uh, sugar is present in the given sample. And that is the result that the sugar is present in the given sample. sample. And here, since we are doing only with the orange juice, we are not talking about the glucose. So we'll write observation only related to the orange juice. That is solution turned. 
Ma'am, yellow. Yellow precipitate appeared. Turned orange yellow in color. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, what is a precipitate? Ma'am. Yes, please. Ritika. Precip ma'am, precipitate is an insoluble solid that separates out in a chemical reaction. Very good. That's the right answer. And uh, we'll wind up with this.